everybody. So <clears throat> I'm still in a lot of pain with my tooth. We are heading to the doctors in a minute. Um, <clears throat> this morning I put some, like a new paracetamol that I bought a new liquid one. I put it down my tube and I've been taking it orally. Um, but I read the back and for my weight I kind of took too much and because I put it down my tube I had a bit of a weird reaction. Um, I got like really sweaty and really clammy and I can probably still actually see if my camera focuses that I'm quite sweaty still and my heart was racing and I was like super shaky which I still am. Uh, well you can see. Um, <clears throat> so sorry if the camera's shaky I'll try and stabilise it in, when I edit it. And I took my blood sugar and it was a little bit low but not low enough to cause like these symptoms. Like this would be like a one or a two um, millimoles uh, if, my, if it was my blood sugar for the kind of symptoms that I'm getting. So we just kind of thought it was a paracetamol. It seems to be stop slowing down and wearing off a little bit now. So Tom was just like next time you put it down your tube just give 10 to 12 mils instead of 20. Um, because it's caught from like age 10 to 12 and then the dosage but it has the weight of the person and um, because I'm quite underweight we thought that's what caused the reaction but anyway <clears throat> my pain is better I don't think I'm gonna stop putting because I've been trying to take more things orally but I now that I've taken something down my tube which I haven't for a while like I can see how much quicker things like work like, the paracetamol worked so much quicker for me and it's dulled the pain enough for me to cope. This side of my face is super swollen. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's really, really painful, like all here and like my jaw. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, yeah, we're gonna be on our way to the doctor soon. I'll open my advent calendar when we get back um, and I'll let you guys know what's happening. I might try and get prescribed one of my other anti, because I, I use a couple of different anti-sicknesses um, to help with nausea. Um, and I'm thinking of going back on one of my old ones, which is called Zofran or Ondansetron, as I call it. But you guys, if you're American, you might call it Zofran um, or Zofran. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see if I can go back on that because I do have a little stockpile of it. But I'm running low and that works the best for me. Um, so I'm ready for my car journey. I have my sick bag and I've just taken some. So hopefully... I'll be okay, but this morning my nausea has just been so bad, so I'm taking a sick bag just in case. Guys, it is so hot. I'm like dying. No, I'm being over exaggerated, but like it is really, really warm. Whew. Um, so back from the doctors, he's giving me like antibiotics and he's giving me a repeat prescription. Um, so if it comes back, um, or it happens in any of the other tooths then I can get more antibiotics but for now we'll just stick with what he's got me I think that's seven or ten days um I'll show you it needs to be in the fridge but I'm about to put it down my tube so just like amoxicillin um as a kid I actually used to love the taste of this so what is it it's ten mils I think yeah, 10 mils, three times a day. Hopefully it will get in my system a bit quicker if it's going down my tube. Um, I also got prescribed some on Danzatron, but the problem with that was they only gave me 10 tablets because it wasn't my normal doctor and I take like three a day, so... That was a bit silly. So, but I'm seeing my other doctor, my normal one, next week. So when I see her, I'll get prescribed like the proper amount of ondansetron. So I haven't like got them that script yet because I didn't want to like have to pay and then pay again. So anyway, I'm feeling really nauseous and dizzy. So I'm gonna lie down for a bit um, and I'll update you guys later because I'm super like feverish and sweaty right now. Hey guys. So <clears throat> it's been quite a while since I've updated and I've had about two of the antibiotics and I'm actually feeling a little bit better and I think it's because they're liquid and they're going down my tube because I did mention my mum in our household if we don't finish a course of antibiotics which I know you are meant to do but if you don't my mum keeps the drawer full and we write on the box what they were for um, and as long as they're still within the um, expiry date then it is safe for us to use them 
Um, so that's what I was taking yesterday, amoxicillin. I took two tablets because that's all that was left in the packet. Um, and then obviously I've taken two of the liquid dose that I've had today. And I am feeling like the pain is not as bad and it doesn't seem to be as swollen. I've had a shower, which is why my hair is like wet and it's like half drying. So okay, ignore that. I'm wearing my low spoon warning shirt today. Um, it doesn't normally hang off the shoulder like this. It's just because I'm very thin and that it's, um, well, I don't really have big shoulders. So even when I have it like normally, it just kind of like... But yeah, so it's just kind of off off the shoulder. Um, but I kind of like it. It's different. Um, and it is the smaller size, extra small. Um, I'm about to just set up some fluids. I know you guys asked to see my feed and fluid set up, but I'm not doing that right now. I'm just setting up my fluids. And then I'm going to run my feed in the same bag. Um, but I just thought I'd show you how I set up my, my pump, I guess. First things first, I'm a realist. This is so dangerous when I'm balancing you. Not dangerous, but dangerous for my camera. So I basically just how much I'm gonna have. What's that? That's like 200. Would you like 500 mils? That will do. So then we hook it back on the pole. Um, and then we just put the giving set in the pump and away we go. <laughs> Comment down below if you know where that's from. So the I have the kangaroo pump and it usually saves the settings. So we can go ahead and just press keep settings. Um, and then that is my feed at the moment. So I'm just going to adjust the feed even though it's water but obviously the machine doesn't know that. I just put my giving set in. This is so hard to do this and record, especially with one hand. I should have asked Tom to record, but there you go. In, close it. Basically how I set up my feed. Um, and then we're just gonna put feed rate. Um, and then we're gonna change it. I want it to be zero. We'll do 50 mils an hour. And then enter. And then we need to done. And then we're gonna prime. And I'm gonna auto prime. And just wait for it to adjust. There you go. And then we get the end of the tube, which is on the floor. Ignore my messy room. Um, and then it has the little, uh, I don't know what this is called, like protector nozzle or whatever. I'll just leave it on there until it's primed. Now, because I've already flushed my tube, um, this is pretty much ready to be... Water all over my legs. That's just wonderful. Okay, I'll just wipe that off. Um, <laughs> so it's pretty much ready to be connected. So um, pop the end off. Got a bit of water still in there and then just pop that one on and then back to the machine um we press done because we're done priming and then we press run and there we go now it's gonna oh i didn't change see hold that adjust Settings, I think. Adjust feed. Yep. Yeah. So we need to adjust the volume because that's normally exactly how much feed I get. 948 mils. It's not quite a thousand. But we need to adjust that to around what have we got in here? Just above 500. So. If we put five. Or if we put 400 actually. 448. And then we'll just enter that. And then we can run. And then it will obviously count down however much it gives me. And I'm going to get some lovely, lovely fluids, which I should probably... Oh, just still on my tube. It's fine. <laughs> probably put that lid on here. Okay, so fluids are going, and I'm just going to switch on my Christmas lights. 
hydration. Just come out because we're about to go out. Tom's taking me somewhere special, and look how pretty the sky is. Like days like this, like you know, doesn't take a lot to please me. <laughs> it's just really like calming. Don't you guys think? Like how relaxing is this right now? Literally stand out here and not vlog me. Hey guys, so my hair is all natural. This is like my natural hair. This is like what it's like. It's like a little bit curly, a little bit wavy. And obviously my layers like are these bits here, which are not as long as the rest kind of separate, which kind of annoys me a bit. And they're also like a lighter color. And we are off out, no idea where. Um, I'm still got my spoonie shit on, I just put on some jeans. Um, Tom said it's a surprise, so I have no idea. Um, and he won't tell me until we get there, but I have a feeling it might be Sancho's. I'm actually pretty excited if it is, because I really do feel like one of their hot chocolates, they're like the best. Um, but yeah, off out, and I feel like it's a little bit of a pick me up as well, because obviously I haven't been feeling good. Um, so, a little outing is gonna make me feel a lot better and just like take my mind off things, so. Where are we going? Are you still gonna tell me? No. I was wrong. We're at Baskin Robbins. Now, I know I've talked before about not tolerating dairy, but I think we can make an exception for Baskin Robbins. They have the best ice cream, so. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm gonna get. I literally haven't been here in ages. Like, since I could eat ice cream, basically. Ooh, I'm excited. This is my all time favorite. It's so good. Literally. I might have overfaced myself a little bit, but it's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey guys, so we are home. It was such a nice surprise and I had a lot of fun. I don't know why my the lighting is a bit weird. Um, so I'm just about to take my antibiotics and some paracetamol because I'm still in quite a lot of pain but I'm trying not to take uh, like stronger things like um, tramadol and stuff like that um, just because I don't want it to react with anything. Um, for some reason I'm having weird reactions when I take stronger painkillers. So I'm trying to stick to paracetamol if I can and if that just takes the edge off then I usually I'm just able to tolerate that. Um, and also I need to take some potassium, which is in one of my old feed bottles, just because that's the way we transported it from um, from England. So I have like three of these, and most of them in the, we usually keep it in the fridge, but because I've been needing to take more potassium lately, I've just kind of kept it out. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to do my meds, and then I'm going to head to bed. Also, yes, I have my jumper on, because I'm really, really cold. Um... I still have my fluid bag up there, and I do, um, have got my feed running at the moment, which I'm sat on my tube. I'm surprised it's not occluded, actually. Um, the one thing I like about having my tube down here is that I'm getting used to it, because when I get my pedge, it's going to be like coming from underneath like this. Um, obviously, normally I would have my feed, like this would sit over the top of my jumper rather than underneath, so it's a nice to kind of get used to that. Um, and you need to ring the hospital tomorrow and find out um, what's happening with the pedge, if they have a date for it. Um, I'm hoping it is after New Year's, um, just because I want to have Christmas without having like the surgery, because I know it's going to be something like it's going to be like a rough recovery. Um, and I also need to ring up and find out about my orthopedic, my hip surgery as well, because I haven't heard anything back from them. But yeah, um, so I'm going to do my meds, um, and then yeah, I'm going to go to bed. So I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. Oh wait, no, we haven't opened our calendars. Let's do that. Actually, no, we're not gonna open our calendars. I'll open it because Tom's like eating already, like he's already had some chocolate and stuff, so he's probably not gonna want another one, even though they're tiny. I will open you today's and tomorrow's tomorrow morning. Um, I was about to say, remind me, but <laughs> yeah. Um, also, somebody mentioned in my last vlog um, about Tom getting a hat, and they said, what I should do is I should take him to the shops, so we should pick out a few different hats, and then you guys, I'll like, have hat number one, hat number two, hat number three, and you guys have to vote down below which hat you like best. 
um bearing in mind guys this is not something he's going to be wearing out it's just when he goes in the pool stuff like that but let me know if you want to do if you want me to do that in tomorrow's vlog because we, we, we're going christmas shopping tomorrow assuming i'm feeling okay um so let me know if that's something that you want to see but anyway guys i love you all so 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 much thank you for the continued support it means the world to me sorry i've been a bit off the last couple of vlogs i just haven't been feeling good um but if you did enjoy this vlog give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button for me and i'll see you guys tomorrow